Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday friends, it's Friday, it's the weekend and it is weigh-in day. Today we're going to talk all about my week, we're going to share some ups, some downs, we're going to discuss the WW Workshop and of course I will be sharing this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. I do upload five days a week and Friday is always weigh-in day. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to talk about how I'm losing weight and how I can share tips and tricks to benefit you or whatever you want to discuss, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And lastly, don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love, love, love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump into my week, my weigh-in and the workshop topic. hope you had an absolutely amazing week. I hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl. I did share on Wednesdays what I eat in a day video, kind of a recap of our Super Bowl. I popped some pictures in, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. I'll make sure it's linked down in the description box for you. I didn't indulge on Super Bowl. I made a healthy option. Our friends brought healthy options. So I feel like I did really good food-wise on the Super Bowl. I didn't drink any alcohol. I just focused on getting in my water, just sipped on my water throughout the game. And I feel like the Super Bowl for me was a huge win this year when it comes to staying on track. I had a fantastic week this last week. I shared in my Facebook group that I decided to go ahead and take the plunge and join my local Snap Fitness, which I'm so happy that I did. I was able to go three days this last week and just walk on the treadmill for about a half of an hour. It was interesting because when I joined the gym, I let her know that I'm really just here to walk on the treadmill, nothing else. And so she let me know that because parts have been so delayed that none of their regular motor power treadmills are working because they're all waiting on parts. And they have what's called the Air Runner. And if I can find a picture, I'll insert it here for you guys. But basically what this is, is it's a treadmill that is essentially self-propelled. It has an automatic built-in incline and supposedly it's supposed to mimic precisely walking or running outside and you're supposed to get about a 30% higher calorie burn on this particular treadmill. Whether or not that's true or not, I don't know. It definitely took some getting used to and the first time when I stepped off of it, I could barely walk. It felt like when you take a cruise and you get back on land and you have sea legs, it was like air runner's legs. I had a really hard time walking. My legs kind of had to adjust to being on solid ground again, but I felt like I got a great workout. I did 30 minutes. I was sweaty. I had 30 active minutes on my Apple Watch, which means that I was pushing myself, but not extremely pushing myself. I was able to get my active minutes in anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 steps, which is fantastic. But I will say that I did it two days in a row and I was sore. The back of my thighs were so sore that I had to take a couple day break before I went back. So I'm really liking it. It's very low key. It's 24 seven. I can go whenever I want, which is really, really convenient, especially if I want to go work out before my husband goes to work or when he gets home in the evenings. And I'm really happy I took the plunge and joined that in addition to Jazzercise. I still go to Jazzercise two or three times a week. And then this is more of a supplemental exercise for me, which one of my goals for this year was to elevate my activity. So, so far, so good. I'm really enjoying the Air Runner. Like I mentioned, my food this week was great. I'm still following my doctor's orders when it comes to the foods that I'm eating. My energy, I have to say, has fully returned. I feel like I did before this whole thyroid issue really elevated and became an issue for me, which I'm so, so thankful for. This thyroid medication and this change of eating has been a complete lifesaver for me. My energy is back. My weight loss is ramped up. I'm feeling and looking better than ever. And I did share on Super Bowl Sunday this photo here, I'll pop it in for you, of me dressed and ready for our little Super Bowl get together. And this shirt that I'm wearing 
I bought last year and it is so big on me that I had to tie it to make it look somewhat presentable. So huge, huge NSV. I'm really noticing the changes in my body. I'm feeling stronger, leaner, and my energy is back. The scale has been loving me lately. So of course I'll share with you if that was the case again this week. But before I share my weigh-in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic. And I really like this workshop topic. They've been nailing it the last couple of weeks. This is brushing off setbacks without losing momentum. I don't know if you can see Palmer right there, but he is snoring so loud. So if you hear snoring, it's him. We all have setbacks. We all have challenges. We all have times where we are not on our A game when it comes to our health journey. But there are some tips and tricks that you can do on how to really recognize these setbacks and make a huge comeback without losing momentum. You have to create an action plan for when setbacks happen. There are three steps to this action plan that WW wants to share with us. I think this is really, really important because like I said, we all have bumps in the road, hiccups in our journey, setbacks, and we need to learn how to overcome those quickly so that they don't set us back. So we don't gain weight or stop losing weight because we had a hiccup in our journey because it's going to happen and it's probably going to happen more than once. Tip number one is to make sure you tune in. Pay attention to your thoughts after a setback happens. What are you thinking about? What's running through your mind? Are you relying on the whole don't worry, be happy philosophy? Or are you someone who's thinking it'll all work out? Everything will be okay later. Let's just move on. Whether you're the first or the second in this equation, step number two is going to be extremely helpful when it comes to an action plan. And that is to get specific. If you notice that you're kicking your problem down the road with this whole don't worry, be happy philosophy, ask yourself what steps should you take instead? Not everything is sunshine, rainbows, and butterflies. There's going to be down times in our journey. Come up with what you're going to do to course correct now, rather than just pre pretending it didn't happen and potentially falling off track or really entering a pretty drastic setback, what action are you going to do to stop it off now? And tip number three is to create a plan. Back to my very favorite quote, which is to fail to plan, plan to fail. Choose an action-oriented plan that is doable. Don't set yourself up for failure right out of the gate. Make sure whatever action or whatever plan you're setting up is truly doable for you. Set a clear goal, a goal that's doable and a goal that's clear, and ask yourself these three things. Number one, what will I do? Number two, when will I do it? And number three, how will I make it happen? If we have the don't worry, be happy approach, or if we just punt it down the road and pretend it didn't really happen, both of those will lead us to the results of a setback. We can really fall into negative patterns with our health journey when these two types of approach to setbacks happen. And sure, it's tempting to think that way. It's tempting to look at the positive. It's tempting to pretend that it didn't happen, but it did happen. And we need to come up with a plan, set some doable actions and get on it. Be kind to yourself, stick with your goals, stay in the present, check in with yourself often and make goals and realistic goals so that you can continue to be successful. I really like this topic. Like I said, we all have setbacks. We all have things that don't happen the way we necessarily want them to be in our journey. And if we have a three-step approach to create a positive action plan to overcome these setbacks, we're definitely putting ourselves in a really, really good place mentally, physically, and for our health. Now it's weigh-in time. Let's talk about this week's weigh-in. Now I did start my cycle midweek, a couple of days before I weighed in, which generally leads to either a small gain or a maintenance for me. That's pretty standard when I'm on my cycle. But this week I actually was able to lose weight amidst being in the middle of my cycle. When I stepped on the scale, I am down another 0.8 pounds, which is 0.2 away from a pound. So I just like to call it a pound, which is amazing. Number one, being on my cycle. Number two, implement some additional activity and being sore from that activity. It's pretty incredible to be down almost an entire pound. I was overjoyed when I stepped on the scale and I'm moving in the right direction. I'm getting closer and closer and closer to 90 pounds lost. And like I mentioned, when I hit the 90 pounds lost, we are doing a closet clean out. I am getting rid of all of my clothes that are too big for me because I am never, ever, ever turning back. That's my reward for myself. I have little rewards planned throughout my journey. Wait till I hit hundred pounds lost. We're having, we're having a reward. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. What do you think of this week's topic and share some tips and strategies that you have for overcoming setbacks. We could all use 
all the tips and tricks you can share. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here and make sure your bell's turned on so you never miss a single video. Don't forget to check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Friday, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.